Okay, so a quick run through on how to set up a um, Paradox Alarm with uh, MG5050 and the keypad, which I think is a K10, uh, in this case H for horizontal, but there's also the K10Vs, but the principle is still the same. First things first is the default codes are, um, yeah, the installer code is 0000. The master code is one two three four, which is your basic yeah one two three four. Starts going down one two three four, and disarm. Cool. First things first. Um, might as well enable the different zones. So um, all five zones up to zone five are just regular PIR zones. So. To do that, you go enter, then the installer code, which is 0000, and first zone, 001, and the standard uh, entry delay is 01, or, and partition, so partition 1, partition 2, depending on what you want, um, so partition 1, partition 2, but most of the time just partition 1 is all I ever do, uh, 1, and these are all your little fancy dancy extra options, but most of the times you don't need to touch those, so just enter, and there you go. Now clear to get back to the zone selection, which is that flashing to indicate uh, different parameters and whatever. So 002, same again, you want just standard entry delay, which is 01, and partition 1, and all your fancy features, so clear. Same thing, go back to the zone selection, 003, and entry delay, partition one, no extras. Yeah, so in this case, 004. I think I may have done number three wrong, but anyway, I can sort that. Um, yeah, 01, one, enter, and clear. And zero zero five zero one one enter. And now to double check, all three, all five zones are all set. Yes, I think they are. I'll just double check number three. I'm not hundred percent sure on that one. So enter zero 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 three zero one one. Yeah. Okay, that's it. That's fine. Cool. Now, because they're coming up with the lights, is because of the fact that I've got end-of-line resistors fitted to each zone. So, to make it so that the alarm recognises the end-of-line resistors, you go enter 0000 for the master um, installer code. And to access the option for um, end-of-line resistors, as well as quite a few other features, 706. Now, inline resistors themselves is option two at this point. There is other options that you can also select for other fancy features, but two, we have to make sure lights up like that. And then we go enter, and then clear, clear, clear. And there you go. And now, each zone, as you move around, will activate. So in this case, I'll simply move. Come on. Sometimes it can take a bit. Hmm. Ah, there we go. So yeah, so yeah. And to make it so that um, for testing purposes it's easier to figure out, um, you just press and hold until it does that. And then, when each zone detects movement, it will chirp. Like that. And so you can do that for all of them. So you just press and hold to enable. And you do that for each and every single one. And then, when you're finished moving around and making sure that they all detect movement and whatnot, And yeah, and same for four and five. And there you go. Now, to change the installer code to something that you want, uh, so to change from the default, 
make sure you hit clear a couple of times just in case. So you go enter 0000, zero, zero, zero and the specific parameter or setting for the installer code is 397. Now you can type in whatever you want but in this case we'll go 9876 and there you go. Now just to make sure that it's worked enter 9876 and there you go. So feel free to change that to whatever you want and same again enter 9876 and for the master code 399 and yeah it lights up 1234 by default so you can do whatever you want so save for today we'll just go 7777 and there we go and then just like that <laughs> and then and yeah and that is basically that there's all sorts of other fancy features and whatnot that you can do, but um, that at least covers the majority of the basic setups.